it's time to address the elephant in the room. See, I want you to think about this. If you had amnesia and you didn't know your previous identity, but someone told you you were a seven figure trader, you were a risk manager, you were a hedge fund manager, you were a successful trader, how would you actually think different? Would that change the way you view your day to day? Would it change your belief system in yourself? Would it change what is possible for your future? Really ponder on that question. Right, I've been thinking about that for the last couple of days. And it's a really key question to actually think about. How would you do things differently? How would you act? How would you think? Key, key thing. Now, the reason I say that is to say this. I did a Q&A on Instagram the other day and I was asking people to send in their questions, any questions that come to mind. And you get some great quality ones, don't get me wrong. But I had the one question of, is it possible to, to flip a $20 account into a big account? All of a sudden, you get these people who say the same thing and they've been asking for years upon years upon years. It's the same type of people. If you're in that mindset, you will not be in the game for three years. You will not be in the game for five years unless you change that mindset. Trust me, I've been in the market for seven years now. I've seen the amount of people that have come, tried it, failed a lot of the time due to the incorrect mentality they actually have. Right? So if you're in this mentality of wanting to flip accounts because you're trying to get money. Don't get me wrong, everyone's in different situations and I understand that I'm empathetic to that. But at the same time, if you're too much in need of that money and trying to make it in the markets, you will not get it. You could be in the game for three years, five years, you will not make it, right? So we need to approach it from a standpoint of setting the correct foundation to build yourself up for success. If you're building the house on quicksand, it's not gonna be there in three years. You need to be setting yourself up for success for the longer term. Now, how do we do that? I'm gonna show you something on the charts very soon to, sh to give you that technical analysis, give you a, a really interesting perspective from a macro point of view to be able to judge the right direction from a marketplace standpoint. So we'll touch on that, but before we get into that, I want to say this. It's important to set the, found the foundation correctly. If you're not setting the foundation correctly and giving yourself a year, two years to build that foundation and become an asset, you will struggle for the next five years, trust me. So this stage is the most important stage of your trading career. So if you can build a solid foundation, that's gonna set you up nicely. Now, how do you do that? Number one, you listen to the right people. If you listen to the right people who've been in the game for a long time and have the correct experience and are preaching the right things, that's a good thing to be digesting. It's a good thing to be listening to because all those messages, all that experience is coming to the message and then you can actually apply that into your own trading or your own psychology for a better life and better trading. Number two, getting the correct education. So there's plenty of different and good courses and communities out there. Have a look around, find something that suits well for you and just stick to it. Don't be one of those people who are start from one place and bounce around 20 different courses trying to figure things out. You better stick into one as long as it's good quality stick into it, testing it, get gathering the data to back up the strategy and your edge in the market. And then from there, it's just repetition, experience, building the correct foundation from a mindset standpoint to be able to succeed in the financial markets. That's all it really is. That's all it really is. But people complicate it thinking, ah, oh, you know, the next shiny ball, they want to find that golden nugget essentially that golden strategy that works the truth is there is no golden strategy the strategies that may work work and perform better than others but it all comes down to the mental game that's the key and third and finally come into the markets with the correct perspective i've talked about this before if you go to college especially in the uk it could be three four years right now if you're going to college for three four years you understand that you're up front committing that time to a degree or to a endeavor before you actually get any result out of that, it should be the same in trading. If you go in and think, I wanna be funded in three months, or I want a 20 grand payout from this prop firm in six months, you're in the wrong perspective. You're in the wrong frame of mind. You need to be approaching it differently and thinking, right, give me a solid year to develop a good foundation, the correct habits, the correct routine, the correct processes, the correct education, the correct mindset, and then develop from there. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. I want to bring to you a quick mini lesson today in regards of using the higher timeframes 
but using it correctly. For example, we're coming into Q4 now, so the beginning of a new quarter. Feel free to actually back out, and I would highly suggest this actually, into the quarterly timeframe. So go into trading view, go down. If we can then go to three months, star that, it's always good to back out to this quarterly timeframe. The reason being is we can see now that coming into the end of the Q3, we've seen the candle closure. As of today, we have a new candle opening, right? So with this strong candle on DXY, if we look at this overall picture, what can we actually see? Well, we can see price come back into this area of discount prior to expanding to the upside. Very clear intent here. Price does pull back, but notice what happens here. We have these equal lows for the last two months, then for the last two quarters, sorry, price pushes down, liquidates these lows before then pushing to the upside. Now this to me shows a very clear bullish intent coming into Q4. And what do we know about Q4? Q4 tends to be a very busy period of very active market conditions. You can see from last quarter as well, October through to December, you see the amount of volume that's in the markets. We were likely gonna see a very similar thing coming into this Q4 with a lot of volume, a lot of volatility, therefore it's important to be ready. So when we see this candle forming in Q3, we can kind of use that on our side to say, right, well, a lot of the longs are gonna be for that higher time frame narrative from a DXY perspective. Any shorts, although there may be short-term sells along the way, are likely to be short-lived. So anytime we do move down to the lower time frames, for example, as we start to paint that picture from the three month to the monthly, to the weekly, to the daily, and then we go down to the hourly chart, Sometimes the hourly, although it's a great time frame, is where we can get lost. And this is why I wanted to bring this mini lesson to you. We have, for example, in the hourly, this higher high, higher low, higher high. Now, some of you may have been drawing in this as the higher high, higher low, higher high, shifted market structure. What we have to remember is the bigger overall picture. Look at the nature of the market here coming down, breaking. Now we appreciate that we've got a body close below this area, but you have to be able to, as a trader, read between the lines and say, right, well, but look at the intention reverse in this move as well. So yes, we have broken, but look at price and how quickly we have reversed since that very move. So using the quarterly time frame on our side, we can see that this is very, very much bullish at this point in time. Going into the daily, the four hour, the one hour, Am I then going to be looking for sells? At this point in time, no, because I understand that order flow is not confirmed to be bearish at any point in time on this time frame, right? Order flow is very much bullish, so anytime price comes into these sort of areas, although we have got them marked out as reference points, it's likely to be that reaction to build liquidity for the continuation of the move itself, which is what we're expecting to happen. Right, so just be a pay, pay attention to that. If you are gonna look for sells, then let's say for example, we do get this move tap into here, we do break down. At that point in time, then we would have, right, lower low, lower high, new lower low, at least then you've stacked a bit more probabilities on your side because you've got a confirmation of a switch in order flow on this time frame. But even with that, just pay attention to the fact that this is likely going to be short term that could be a daily pullback to then at some point head higher to then continue the overall move to the upside. And that may look something like this. And you can see this is not a bearish market environment. This is simply just a pullback in price to continue higher. So a very quick mini lesson for you, but equally very important as well. This is something that the vast majority of traders just fail to realize and fail to actually apply in the markets. But if you apply this concept, it will very quickly help you to zoom out, understand the macro picture, which will help you in those micro conditions. Have a good rest of your day, guys. Speak to you all soon.